Hi, I'm Rhonda Myers, .com. I teach classical academic art, but we also create costumes, prom dresses, and wedding dresses. Well, I've been sewing with flat patterns since I was 12, but recently we ran across Nick Berrios, and he's exciting, his work is exciting, and we realized we want to drape our dress forms. And we couldn't pin in our original display form. It was just a $75 simple store display form. So we did make a cover using foam topper material and we made patterns to fit the students and we could change that out and make it fit anyone. Well then everybody wanted their own so we started using masking tape, one inch masking tape and old t-shirts and we would mask up half of their body in the front and the back and mark off the features we needed to mark off and if you want to do the neck you can actually cut this arm out and use it for the neck to take the neck. Then we could cut the pieces apart to make a pattern and this is the pattern made from those pieces from a taped up seam. Then we wanted more dress forms. Well, we can't pay a fortune for dress forms. We did have an adjustable dress form, but the problem was it was the big, the neck was too big, the overbust measurement was too big, and you couldn't pin it. So again, we used mattress topper foam and we covered it and made a cover for it that we could pin. The um, In order to make our own dress forms, we used this dress form and this dress form with t-shirts over it, doing the mummy method with the mask tape. And then we cut it apart and turn it upside down and we would spray expandable foam into the cavity and then we would make the cover using mattress topper foam and the spray we use was great stuff big gap filler it expands up to three inches the um the mummy method allows us to do three layers of masking tape over an old t-shirt and i suggest that you use a shirt that's smaller and again, you can cut the sleeves off and put in the neck. We use inch and a quarter PVC pipe in a cross format so that it will give it more support. Then we can turn it upside down in our dress form stands, fill it with expanding foam, but we've learned through trial and error to use part of a can, let it dry at the end of the can and keep working through two or three cans, but using, um, letting it dry in between so it won't expand beyond what you want it to be. So we continued watching. YouTube and we came across bootstrap patterns and the bootstrap dress forms were gorgeous, but they were very, they weren't smooth. And we don't want to fill with polyfill because again, we use the expandable foam, which I'm going up under this form to show you, which can be carved, sanded, and painted. So we use canvas cotton to make our boot form, bootstrap pattern and we don't pre-shrink it and we put uh, whatever our, our shapewear is underneath it and then stitch the side, the back seam. And then we spray it with water and it shrinks. And when it shrinks, it gives us a little better look to our dress form than it would if we didn't have it to shrink to cover it. So this is one that we made using my mummy cage a month ago at 215 pounds. And looking at this, even with my shapewear over it, it helped me to put down my sodas and give them up 100% without any problem. And in a month's time, not drinking sodas, I have gone from 216 to 196, and I've lost two or three inches all over. Now, this pattern from Bootstrap, I accidentally made a little bit smaller, so it's two inches smaller than I am in most spots. But again, over the bust line is the same. Shoulders are fine. It's just, I have a little more fat through here. So from under bust down and on my back. I know being off sodas for another month will make a difference and I won't have to worry about that. Our neck we leave exposed because I can lower this over the stand and I can work on it sitting down. So I can adjust it right here. See it lifts up. I can adjust that, let it drop down, whatever I want to work on, hand, hand stitching, shoulder detail, neck detail, and it is a lot easier. This next dress form we already have a pre-made core and we've tried filling with polyfill, but it was again lumpy and it didn't have strength when we pressed up against it as we were sticking in the pins. So having this poly, this fill, the foam fill, then the foam mattress topping backing to our canvas will give it more strength. So we'll put some more foam, expanding foam in this form once we finish with it. And then we will spray this with water to shrink it. And I think we'll have a good, I, we'll have a good dress form. For the students. We also use canvas because we can use either dye or fabric paint and we can actually paint it to match the skin color of the students. So it gives it a better look when they're trying to drape a gown. They can see how a fabric looks next to their skin. 
So again, we think it's going to be enjoyable. We're looking forward to it. We love bootstrap patterns and we love Nick Berrios. Thank you very much.